It's the 26th of September. I'm Luke O'Kinchla. This is Less Than Three on STV. A sleeping couple was attacked by a man who poured boiling water on them. The attack, which happened at a Galway housing estate in the early hours of Sunday morning, left both victims with serious injuries requiring hospital treatment. The couple, a man in his 30s and a woman in her early 40s, were asleep in their bathroom at Cook's Terrace, Bohermore, near the city centre. It's believed that the attacker who broke into the house and fled after the attack was known to the victims and that the incident may have been of a domestic nature. The Ombudsman has accepted more than 50 complaints from last year about the grant awarding body, Susie. Figures show the Ombudsman rejected an additional 90 complaints because an appeals process has not yet been exhausted. The office says it has also received a large number of general inquiries regarding bringing complaints against Susie to the Ombudsman. Of the 55 complaints from Susie applicants taken by the Ombudsman since June the 21st, many have been resolved with roughly half in favour of the student. 34 are still being investigated. The death toll from a powerful earthquake in Pakistan on Wednesday has risen to 108 after a number of mud houses collapsed near the Iranian border. The earthquake struck Pakistan's thinly populated province of Baluchistan on Tuesday and was felt across South Asia. It destroyed houses and cut communications with the worst affected district of Awaran and was so powerful that it caused a small island to emerge from the sea just off the coastline in the Arabian Sea. At least 373 people were injured in the quake. Microblogging site Twitter is to double the amount of employees in its Dublin office to 200 by the end of next year. The announcement was made as the company marked the second anniversary of opening its European headquarters in Dublin. The company currently employs 100 staff at its new Pier Street offices. The new jobs will be in a variety of business areas including sales, legal, HR, finance, marketing, engineering and user services. Recruitment for the first 30 of new positions has already begun. A spoof advert suggesting Apple's iOS 7 made handsets waterproof appears to have fooled some users into destroying their iPhones. The fake commercial appeared almost identical to Apple's real poster advertised with images of the iPhone on a white background accompanied by neat text. The poster read that updating to iOS 7 would make the device become waterproof. At the bottom of the poster was a promise that waterproofing is covered by Apple's warranty policy. However, the ad turned out to be a hoax by controversial forum 4chan. Silly moves.